Hi guys, um, this week we're gonna be looking at some um, advanced ways of creating um, curtain walls in uh, Rhino. We're gonna try to replicate some of the functionalities from uh, Revit. Uh, so as a start I'm just gonna talk to you about uh, very quickly how to sort the files. Basically in this case what I did, I, I saved all the views into one folder so we got elevation plans, sections and then a folder with the uh, uh, building elements so for instance the 3D model we will have a structure inside and in this case curtain wall yeah? so let's go back to the model uh, if we look at this in a rendered view we see that here it's transparent and here it's not so we'll try to uh, replace this surface with a paneling surface. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna say file, export selected, we're gonna go into the curtain wall, curtain wall 1, save, override yes, and now we're gonna go to um, the paneling um, file, so curtain wall, curtain panels, here we have a panel, and let's open for instance curtain panel square, double click on it give it a minute okay so here we have our panel let me just scale it a little bit Okay, now what we're gonna do, as you can see I divided already the panel into iron bars, so for instance the frame and the glass. Let's try to make it a little lighter. There it is. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do edit, blocks, block manager. Um, sorry, edit, blocks, insert block instance. We don't want to prompt the entry point, YouTube tutorial, building curtain walls and there it is this is our first curtain wall okay there we have it I'm gonna move the panel because this is actually this wall exists in the same XY coordinates as our model so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say paneling tool create paneling grid surface UV and I'm gonna accept uh, the, um, um, the default settings then I'm gonna say paneling tool, paneling from grid, orient to grid. I'm gonna select this, give it a direction, X, Y, reference point, select the grid, right click, and there it is. So now we created a curtain wall. What do we need to do with this? We have to select the surface, delete it, select the points, delete it, select the uh, initial panel and delete it, and then we can save as, of course, a curtain wall, so here we already have it, curtain wall, squared panels, save, override, yes, and I can now just close this, go back to the model, and say okay I'm gonna hide the surface and I'm gonna say edit blocks insert block instance I don't wanna prompt it curtain wall square panel open okay now notice how these uh, layers they've been override over overwritten by the um, uh, by the, the actual layers from uh, from the original model so if we look at this in a uh, rendered view we can see that the iron bars are still iron bars but everything is transparent yeah so this is a very cool functionality now let's go and um, create another curtain wall we're gonna open this curtain panel uh, TRI that stands for Triang uh, triangular there it is 
And we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, here, this layers, I don't need them. Okay, I'm gonna say file, edit, blocks, insert block instance, I don't wanna prompt it, file, tutorial building, curtain walls, curtain wall one, this is our reference wall, and there it is. Now I'm gonna scale this one as well. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Paneling tools, create paneling grid, surface UV. And I'm gonna accept the default. And then in this case, I'm just gonna say paneling tool. Uh, actually, it's easier if I just prompt PT offset points. There it is, I'm gonna select this. It tells me distance of one, it's a little bit too much, let's say point three maybe. Select the points, base surface, and there it is offset. We can all see it. Then we can say paneling tools, paneling from grid, panel custom 3D, select first bounding grid, select the second one, we don't have the bounding surfaces, select objects, and now it tells me uh, which uh, X and Y length do I want to have on this panel. Let's try to do 3.9 and 3.9. Yeah, that's good enough for me. I hit enter and now let it process. It's gonna take a while. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this, delete the surface, delete the points. Delete them. And I'm gonna save it as, save as, Curtain wall, triangular, save, override. I'm gonna go back to my model and I'm gonna say, okay, edit, blocks, block manager. Select this and say properties. And I'm gonna look for the new wall. Curtain wall, open, okay update okay close and there it is there we have our new curtain wall updated now the good thing about this is that you can always go back to your main file without destroying your model and you know you can just um, modify it and if the file becomes very heavy uh, you can just, you know, switch off the layer and it becomes a little bit better to, to manage. Uh, in, in a way, you know, you put all the informations together in one file, um, it becomes easier to then later represent, to make render suite, um, and it, it actually gives you the, uh, the, the solidity of having a model that it's always uh, not broken into little parts and then having these little parts um, in another file to be modified. Okay, if you have any other question, if you have any uh, suggestion, just uh, tell me maybe in another video we're gonna be looking at uh, different ways of using the paneling tool. This is only a um, a, um, um, a workaround on how to um, basically automize some uh, some um, functionalities that otherwise you have to implement with software such as uh, Grasshopper or uh, you know you should use Revit. Um, I hope you find it useful uh, just leave a comment below if you think um, 
if you want to give any suggestion if you need any if you need me to answer any question thank you very much